Greetings to you at Market Harbour Methodist Church and those are part of the circuit, but also those of you that are watching from afar or tuning in for the first time, a special greetings to you as well. My name is Matt Forsyth and I'm part of a church's team at an organisation called All We Can, previously known as the Methodist Relief and Development Fund, but we are a movement of people rooted in Methodism that seeks to transform and see every person's potential fulfilled. And I want to just share with you, if I can, a story of how Jesus is in the business of taking things that are ordinary and making it extraordinary. Because there was a, a story in the Bible, in John's account, of how Jesus, as he began his ministry and transforming lives and healing the blind and healing the sick and turning water into wine, where Jesus gets on a boat and goes across the Sea of Galilee. And as he goes across, because he's trying to get away from the crowds, he's greeted by even more crowds on the other side. You see, Jesus at that time was like a magnet, drawing people into him because so many people wanted to get to know this man, who he was and what he was up to and what he was doing because of the amazing things he was showing and doing. And there's this great story how Jesus was uh, teaching this crowd that gathered around him on the hillside. And as, as he began to teach him, time would go on and on. I got to a moment when actually, uh, now the Passover festival where Jews was near, John's account speaks to. And when he looked up and saw a large crowd coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? You can almost imagine the panic that must have gone over uh, the disciples' faces and in their hearts and in their minds when they began to be asked, of, where are we going to buy enough bread for all these people, for 5,000 plus people? You see, the disciples responded, said, not even six months' wages would be enough to pay for all these people. Six months' wages. You know, that didn't scare Jesus. That didn't worry Jesus. Because out of the crowd came this boy, Simon, Simon uh, Peter's brother, said to him, look, there's this boy, and he's got five loaves, and he's got two fish. That's what he's offering to you, Jesus to give out. And rather than laughing in the disciples' face, Jesus accepted a gift and actually took these ordinary loaves and fishes and blessed them and began to hand them out to the disciples to give out to the crowd that were there. Now I wonder what would you have done when you received that basket of loaves and fishes? Would you have questioned Jesus? Would you have said, no, Jesus, I don't think it's going to work? Or would you have said yes? Answer yourself that today. But thankfully the disciples said yes to Jesus and what he asked them to do. And as a result of that, they began to hand out these loaves and these fishes. And you probably know the story of the ending to it, but actually these individuals, everyone that was there, the 5,000 plus people, not only had like a little snack, but they were satisfied. They were full with food. A miracle took place that day. Jesus took the ordinary and made it extraordinary. But that's not where the story ends because when the disciples then tidied up and cleared up all the food like they should do as good hosts, they began to see they had 12 baskets left over. 12! Isn't that amazing? Jesus Ooh. took the ordinary and made it extraordinary. He took the ordinary loaves and fishes and did something extraordinary. But you see, the reality is Jesus didn't just stop there. And he hasn't just stopped there in that moment of in his living word to keep doing what was ordinary and making it extraordinary. He's still in the business of doing that today for our lives as well. For the gifts that he's given to each one of you, that he's breathed into you. Maybe they might seem ordinary. They have extraordinary potential in the kingdom of God. But also here at All We Can, we're seeing how God is taking the ordinary and making it extraordinary. Take, for example, in Uganda, in the community of Butagaya, where actually the bicycle, which to us is a tool of transportation. You know, we use it for leisure and we use it to maybe get to work sometimes. But actually, it's just a leisure you know, tool that we often use for transportation. But you see, in that community, what is ordinary is made extraordinary because that tool is a tool of transformation. 
that tall transformation ensures that school children who live far away from school can actually now get to school rather than travel 10 kilometers each way in unsafe roads can now actually get to school on the bicycle safely and securely and get the education that they need to be able to fulfill their potential. Not only that, but it also ensures those that need vital medical services can get to those services that are on offer, but also can get to market to sell produce to earn an income for their families. The bicycle truly is something that is ordinary, but God, by his infinite wisdom, turns it into something that is extraordinary, a tool of transformation. And you can help bring about that tool of transformation in the community of Uganda this harvest season and beyond by giving on a monthly basis six pound a month, just six pound. That six pound will help create this tool of transformation in the community of Butagaya, six pounds a month. I want to encourage you that maybe for this year you want to join us in ensuring that we can help break the cycle of poverty for another family, for ensuring that we can help bring about more bicycles in the community of Putagaya. So I, I want to encourage you to join us here at All We Can. The link will be down below. I encourage you to click on that link and find out more details of how you can be a part of this Change Begins the Bicycle campaign that we're highlighting this year here at All We Can. Because you see, God is in the business of taking something that is ordinary and making it extraordinary. So come along for the journey. See how you can break the cycle of poverty and help transform lives today. My name's been Matt Forsyth and I've been part of the church team here at All We Can. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you, I hope, down the line. Take care and God bless. Yeah.